What's poppin' guys? Uh -huh. it's poppin'. It's poppin'. It's poppin'. Welcome back to my channel, it's Mary and if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe! So for today's vlog, this is another story time vlog. As I promised, I'll be sharing with you guys my cabin crew training experience and the requirements. So let's go in 3, 2, 1. Okay guys, so it took me a while nagawin to because honestly, I was so lazy. There was this time na naging medyo busy din ako because I had to do my yearly training as FA. I already did a vlog how I became a flight attendant previously. Ito siya. So if you wanna watch it, I mean, nauna siya before this one. I just want to elaborate my experience dun sa training ko at Kae Madrid. As what I've said on my previous vlog, they also have one here in Barcelona. It took me 10 days lang. It was a 10 days intensive course. I had to get information. How's going to be the training? What does the course include? And how long will it take and how much was it so basically total course was 2000 euros including na yung accommodation because for those who doesn't know me i'm from Girona and i had to go to madrid just to do the training so i needed a hotel but you don't need to pay full agad you just need to pay 300 euros for your reservation fee and then the rest you can pay it before the training starts we're done with the pricing let's go with the requirements so basically you need to fill up the application form you need to send them the photocopy of your dni and passport it should be up to date copy of the receipt that you paid 300 euros for your reservation fee after sending all these requirements to them they're going to confirm the dates okay on the requirements part you should also be 18 years old you should also pass the aeronautical medical examination you should know how to swim that's very important and you should also be in good physical shape this training has two parts theory and the practical so on that theory part we're going to teach about the general knowledge of aviation like aircraft concepts components of an airplane etc they're also going to teach you about the aeronautical regulations and institutions for flight attendants it also includes introduction to human factors of course passenger assistance and surveillance that includes the general obligation of a flight attendant in case of a normal and emergency situations and first aid super duper important you also have to do practical with this one dangerous goods and last training in fire and smoke fighting that's the practical pero before that they're going to tell you muna how to do it okay so disclaimer lang guys i did my training last 2018 i don't know if anything changed pero i'm talking about my own personal experience way back 2018 i don't think so naman na may nagbago if there are changes maybe yung pricing lang or timetable pero i think the training itself is gonna be the same so yeah my training was from 9 a.m until 5 30 p.m. from Monday to Friday. Weekends, wala kaming pasok nun. We had time to study during weekends. Day 1, we were requested to arrive 30 minutes before the said time. 8.30, nasa kahay kami. As I had accommodation, it also includes the taxi from the hotel to Kai. So I didn't have any difficulties nung time na yon because in the morning, a taxi would pick us up and then in the afternoon, a taxi would bring us home. Like, theory lang siya the whole day and yun nga, we talked about the things I mentioned earlier. Here, I'm going to show you clips on how my training went. Itong clip na to, when we had to do the demo. I remember that time, super duper hiya ako nung time na yan. I know that when would talk on the PA, I was the one who needed to do that. Meron pa akong tinitingnan. And then yung teacher namin, kinuha niya. Kasi nga, hindi ako nakatingin sa passengers na yung mga classmates namin. She took that paper para lang concentrate ako. Kasi when you do the demo, you should be confident. Pero as that 
Nathan kasi I was too shy. I don't like na maraming taong tumitingin sa akin. Nung time na yun, parang hindi ako sanay na oh my god, nakatingin sila sa akin and everybody was observing. So as you can see here, basically kapag nagde-demo ka, you're going to show them using your hands where are the exits nearby in case of an emergency. I did. Another clip is when we had to jump the slide. I was the passenger with disability on this clip. I was the one at the back. And we were asked to be the FA and then you're going to be the passenger. So, yun. Tuturo din nila sa'yo how you should jump. This clip naman, you will see me. <laughs> I had my PBA on. Ito yung nakalagay sa akin, PBA on. We needed to to extinguish yung fire. For example, a fire in the oven. And you're going to do two things as well. First, you're going to be the one who's going to be talking with the captain and the PA, telling him what's going on and everything, while the other one is going to extinguish the fire. Then the other way around. In fairness, ha, that was my first time na mag-extinguish ng fire. Using the fire extinguisher, it was so heavy. I was wearing fake nails that time and I couldn't open the oven easily. And I was wearing heels, my bad. So it was my fault. It lang, if you're going to do practical, I mean, yeah, you should be like formal and stuff, no? Pero pag practical na, I think practical siya. <laughs> you should wear comfy clothes. Pero at the same time, formal ka pa rin. You get what I mean? Ganon. Ang swimming training namin. We had to swim 100 meters, guys. 100 meters. So, yung pool namin that time, it was 25 meters lang. So, we had to do it four times. Apat na balik siya. Yung time na yun, halos mamatay na ako. I mean, I can swim, pero 100 meters na kailangan mong langoye. Pero I did it. I literally said to myself, if you don't do this now, you're going to do it all over again. So I said, no, kailangan ko siyang tapusin. And luckily, natapos ko siya. So on this last one, oh my god, in a training team kami, how should we individually go in the raft? And the other part is, how are we going to put someone or bring someone in the raft? This practical, wow. <laughs> I mean, imagine, syempre, on the training, it's going to be easy, no? Pero in real life, well, I did it after that. So, obviously, you're going to do the exam. I can't remember how many questions were there, but it was a multiple choice kind of exam. So, I can say na it wasn't that hard. Of course, I had to study anyways. It's gonna be a long process, but at the end of the day, it's all worth it. Based on my personal experience at first, when I started my training, I felt so lost. Kasi my previous work was very different from this one. Sobrang, sobrang different siya. I felt so lucky and so happy when I received my certificate. So, iyon. As of now, I'm still not flying. I had my training already, is what I said earlier. And I'm just waiting for their call. When am I going to start? And hopefully soon, so I can have more story times and I can show you more what really my work is. Cause it's difficult right now. Cause wala ako maipakita sa inyo na alam niyo yung flights ko or what I do in a day. So hopefully, 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 magka flight na ako so I can share more things with you about my job. I'm hoping that this vlog will inspire you guys, lalo na dun sa mga gusto talagang mag FA and I always say naman na nothing is easy you need to go through things and then eventually pag pinaghirapan mo yung isang bagay and you go for it makukuha at makukuha mo siya yes! Okay, so I guess that's it. I hope you understood me and I explained myself. That's it for this vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I hope may natutunan kayo from me. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and click the bell button para hindi kayo nahuhuli sa aking latest 
videos. I love you all, guys. See you on my next vlog. Mwah.